everybody and today we will be doing the first system test of the fourth series of my fire alarm system featuring my notifier NFS 2640 panel so let's go ahead and get started as you can see I now have the panel up on the wall and everything's programmed in so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over what's on the system. So let's go ahead and open up the panel. All right, so you see, there, here's the inside of the panel. You see, you got the, you got my banner saying fire like 457s NFS2640 setup. I turned on the overhead light so you can see better. All right, so down, you got the dress panels, which looks very nice. Down here, got two 18 amp batteries, which are required for this system. I meant for this system, you have to use a minimum of 18 amp batteries. Otherwise, I was told that any batteries under 18 amps will overcharge. And so I swapped out the 12 amp batteries and I now have 18 amp batteries. If you check the battery level, C2744, which is normal. So if we oh, open up the, the top of the dress panel, here's the inside of it. I now have a dialer on the system. See, here's all the wiring. I know it look, does look kind of messy. Got MP3 board right here, which is a perfect spot for it. Now we'll go ahead and close this back up. Now we will go ahead and go over what devices we have on the system. So over here for the first conventional pull station, I have my Firelight BG12L, which is being monitored by my MMF300 monitor module. And then right here, got the supervisory switch monitored by the dual monitor module. Right here are the detectors, supervisory bell, the E70 is normal. We got the Johnson Controls JBG12LX. 28906 test switch. This has not changed at all. We have moved the alarm indicator for the RTS 151 over to the supervisory relay because I have this as non latching. And so when I turn it, the bell will and the supervisory tone will sound. But then when I take the key out, it'll shut off. And the tornado signal is all normal. Another fire FSP 851. Coming over here for the second conventional pull station, we have a Simplex 4251-20. This has not changed, so I decided to just to leave this up for now. Got the interface module monitoring the Hochiki SLR835B2W, an FST 851R. Got the Notifier MBG12LX, and this has not changed at all. So as I said in the introduction, this will be the first system test of my new panel. In today's video, we will be doing our November 2023 walk test and bell test for the left side of the system. I'm going to go ahead and put the panel into walk test, and but before I do that, I got to make the announcement over the microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please? We will be setting off the life and safety system at this time. Please disregard all signals until further notice. Thank you. All right, all right, now we will go ahead and start our November 2023 walk test for the left side of the system.
All right, all the devices have been activated. Now we will go ahead and move on to the bell test part. And to start off today's bell test today, we will be activating the Johnson Controls JBG-12 LX. Here we go. In three, two, one. As you can see, the strobe on the E70 continues to flash because just like on the firelight panel, the E70 strobe is set to non-silenceable and the alarm LED on the test switch also remains lit because it's also on a non-silenceable NAC. And as you can saw, when I pulled the JBG12LX, it turned steady red. First, in normal mode, it'll flash steady green because I have the protocol on flash scan. And then when I pull down the pull station, the LED turns steady red. And the alarm LED on the silent night test, which also remains lit. And the E70 also continues to flash because I have the control module set to non-silenceable. Now let's just go ahead and press reset. And for the supervisory part of the bell test today, I will just be activating the RTS-151 test switch, which will activate the supervisory relay, and it will also activate the supervisory bell. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oops. Sorry, wrong key. Three, two, one. As part of the bell test today, as usual, we will activate the Tornado Mini System in three, two, one. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? A tornado warning has been issued for this area. A tornado warning has been issued for this area. Please take all appropriate safety actions at this time. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? A tornado warning has been issued for this area. A tornado warning has been issued for this area. Please take all appropriate safety actions at this time. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? A tornado warning has been issued for this area. A tornado warning has been issued for this area. Please take all appropriate safety actions at this time. <coughs> your attention please may i have your attention please a tornado warning has been issued for this area a tornado warning oh i forgot to tell you i have no notification appliances because this is the first test ladies and gentlemen may i have your attention please we have finished the life and safety system test at this time if you hear any signals from this point forward Please respond immediately. Thank you, and I hope you all have a nice day. Okay, well, this is going to do it for the first system test of Series 4, everybody. Thank you all for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.